from having not too many animals this afternoon to all of a sudden them jumping in front of the cars, we've got a beautiful yellow-billed hornbill who's very grumpy. But it won't be very grumpy after it works out how to eat this giant click beetle. Now, I think the click beetle, I don't know if it's dead yet or if it's just pretending to be dead because a lot of insects out here do perform thanatosis where they completely freeze themselves up and hope that whatever is trying to nibble on them will lose interest. And you can see this hornbill struggling. It hasn't quite worked out how it's going to get the fleshy parts of this click beetle. They've got a very hard carapace on their back. And it's most certainly difficult to get through. Now, crunch down on it. I would go with the crunching technique and then pulling bits of the shell off. But of course, that's because I've got fingers and I think it would be easier. What's she doing now? Given up. Did it, no, it didn't, it's just given up, hasn't it? Well, that wasn't a very good attempt at trying to get the beetle out. Beetle, now's your chance. Make your escape. Wake up. We won't tell. We'll distract the hornbill. It's not waking up. I'll keep watching it, though. The hornbill has now found something else to eat. I wonder if it's not pecking at ants or termites. But you can see that it's nibbling on something else. It's a lot easier. I think it is termites that it has found. You, you're not worth, um, you're not putting in all of that effort, are you? With trying to get that beetle. Now, that would be a very nutritious meal. But I suppose wasting so much time on trying to oh, get through that carapace is quite difficult. And it just shows you that even a beetle is quite well protected. And sometimes, if it hasn't got a bit of brain damage now, because being th sort of thrashed around like that and crunched on, I can't imagine would be too uh, healthy for that little beetle. So I hope that it does have an opportunity to get through. My goodness. Right, we're going to go across to Brent now in the Mara, and I'm sure he's going to show you the beautiful lions.